In this video, I'll be showing you how to link your Bidget account to Google Authenticator. All right, so to begin, open up your Bidget app and make sure you're signed in. Right now, I'm not signed in, so I'm going to have to do it. And to sign in, I can tap up here. Next, I'll tap Login. So after I'm done logging in, I'll get back to the video. I've been signed in. What I want to do next is access the settings and then I'll tap on my name. You can tap on your name if you want or on this part. After that, you tap Security. And you can see over here it says Google Authenticator. You want to tap it. It's going to ask you to download the app if you don't have it. I already have the app. So if you don't have it, you just need to tap on download on App Store. For Android devices, it's supposed to be the Play Store. So you can tap here and it should direct you to the Play Store. You can see I've already installed it. So no need to download it again. After you're done downloading it, you tap next. So it's going to bring a QR code and a special key. Um, I'm going to have to hide them because these things you should keep safe and away from anyone else because if anyone has this key as well as the QR code, then they'll be able to access your two-factor authentication keys. So make sure you have them stored safely. I'll be working with the key, not the QR code. So you want to tap copy. Once it says copied, then you head back to Google Authenticator. So I'll tap Google Authenticator. Next, I'll tap this plus button down here. Then I'll tap enter a setup key. So you have three options here. The first one is what you're going to call this key you are setting up. So for this video, you should call it Bidget because you are creating the two-factor authentication codes for Bidget. And over here where it says your key, you just long press because you have already copied the key from the app. All you have to do is paste it here. And this third option, you don't have to do anything with it. Next thing you have to do is to tap add. And once you do that, you're going to have your two-factor authentication code here. So this code regenerates every, I think 30 seconds or so. So all you have to do to copy the code is to long press on it. But if you notice that the timer is almost over or almost up, just wait so that a new code will be generated. You can see now that I have enough time to copy the code. So I'll long press to copy the code head back to Bidget and then paste the code here by tapping on this paste. If you don't, if you're not fast enough, the code is going to expire. As a matter of fact, I'll wait for the code to expire. You can see now a new code will be generated so that I can use it. I just want to make sure that it is very clear. Now I'm back to Bidget. I'll tap paste. I think I have enough time now. So after that, I'll tap next. So if you have extra security, then you have to carry it out. Like for me, a code will be sent to my email and my personal phone number. So I'm going to get those codes and paste them here. So after pasting the codes that were sent to my email and my phone number, you can see now that Google Authenticator is now checked. So anytime I want to log in to Bidget or maybe do some transfers, I'm going to open the Google Authenticator app if they ask me for the 2FA code and I come here, long press on this before the timer runs out and then head back to Bidget to do whatever I need to do with the code by just pasting the code there. If you are locked out of Bidget because you don't have your two-factor authentication code, you need to reach out to customer service so you can email them. I don't know how the best method of reaching out to them, but just email them and or visit their website and maybe chat with their chatbot until someone answers. Well, with that said, thank you for watching and yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.